Well, hello from a very sunny Aberavon Beach in South Wales. And guess who's with me? Mel. So if Mel's with me, that only means one thing. We're going for some chips. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so before we get the chips, just a bit about where we are. We're on Aberavon Beach. Look at it. Tides out. Look at those sands. Very flat. Yeah. That's Swansea Bay behind me. Swansea's actually over there. This goes down to the river Neath. And it's what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back and take you on a walk Ooh. next week or a week after and show you a bit more of this area. But for us, we're going to get some chips in Franco's on the seafront in Aberavon. Nice. What are you having, Mel? Chips. Chips? I don't get chips. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll we'll see. Look. Let's go and take a look. So from the beach, probably can see the roof of Franco's and it's to the right that's Port Albert Steel Works and you can see the cranes which are probably in the sun and that's from Port Albert docks so that's where we're going Franco's <coughs> looks like it kid there's a little play area across the road from Franco's for kids and some bizarre sculpture. So we're inside Franco's. What we're gonna do is order the food and we'll talk about it afterwards. The reason being, there's copyright music playing quite loudly. Anyway, let's have a look at the menu. We'll have chips. I'm gonna have fish and chips. Can I have fish and chips? Yeah, you have fish and chips, okay. cotton chips. What are the two prices? Probably smaller. No, I think it might be a good two three or it might be a smaller portion of the Irish curry sauce. Would it be bad if I went for curry no, half and half? I'm having fish and chips. A loomy and chips. It's good for vegetarians. Corn sausages, battered corn sausages. Battered corn sausages. I've never <laughs> seen battered corn before. I have to say, you're in Port Albert. The staff and the people in Port Albert are really friendly, aren't they? They are. They're super friendly, so it's really nice. Anyway, Mel's gone for the cotton chips, the small cotton chips, and I've gone for the chicken curry and chips. No curry horse, the whole chicken curry. No so we'll see. Horse. No curry horse. <laughs> oh, I, no. I was meant, meant to say no curry sauce on its own. Okay. No curry horse. <laughs> no curry horse and bottle then. I have to check. Did I bring my wallet? I don't care, you can pay it. You can pay on your phone. I'll take you, Rose. <laughs> Tomato sauce always says refrigerate after opening. Who does that? Does that? Do you know anybody that refrigerates tomato sauce? No, it's weird. No. Yeah, the top already. Right, thank you. Hi. We want chips. We want chips now. It looks okay, doesn't it? It looks nice. Yeah. That's a small. A small? Yeah. And I've gone for the chips and chicken curry. Nom, nom, nom. Proper chips. What's it like, Mel? Very crispy batter. Crispy, yeah. Mm, really nice. I think it has been waiting for your chicken curry to be heated up. To be Mine's honest. hot, yeah. Mm, mine is not quite, as, <coughs> not quite as hot as it could have been, but it, the fish is hot. I must admit, I like the chips. They're not greasy, are they? Hmm? They're not greasy. No. I think I prefer the chip shop curry sauce to the chip shop curry. What's in your curry? Um, it's just chicken and a curry sauce. It's sort of um, a tea curry type sauce, a masala type sauce. But. 
chips are nice though. Mel, I think that says it all. Empty plates. How are you doing? Stuffed. A wafer thin mint? <laughs> You haven't eaten your beans. Yeah. Beans were a bit cold, were they? Yeah. A bit. They were lukewarm. Beans have to be hot, don't they? Yeah, but everything Piper else was good. Yeah. Anyway, as it is noisy in here and they are playing music, we'll do the seminar outside. This is the weather we normally get in Wales. We keep it secret. <laughs> Summing up, chips were good and it's not very greasy, the, nice and crispy. The fish was very, <clears throat> was very flaky, good sized portion for a small. Yeah. I thought. Um, I think we were waiting for your curry a little bit. Mm. Not not long, but I think my my fish and chips and beans were on the side for a little bit because my beans were very warm. That's the yeah, only criticism I would say. I must admit, the staff very good otherwise. Port Talbot people are really mm. friendly, aren't they? Yes. The staff are really good. And the, the staff are very good indeed. And it's my food, think? the chips were good. Uh -huh. The curry I wasn't so keen on. It wasn't bad. It's just it had lots of chicken in it. Yeah, it's very lean chicken. The quality of the chicken I think was good. It needed a bit of seasoning. Perhaps. Yeah, it needed a bit more something, mm. a bit more. <laughs> no, it did not need many more of that. <laughs> um, so, should we do an overall score? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna explain mine in a minute. So, after three, three, two, one, eight. Oh, uh, seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. <laughs> for, the, for the beans, they were a bit cool. <laughs> yeah, would have been eight. The reason, my chips were nine, but yeah. I think the curry was a seven. So together, I would go for uh, I, halfway. I, yes, yeah. Okay. I agree. Anyway, like I said, this is <coughs> Aberavon Beach. Look at it. You can't believe this area. Well, it still is industrial, but look at it. But anyway, thumbs up for thumbs Franco's up. in Aberavon. I think and I think I'm going to come back and do a proper walk from Aberavon around the coast up to Britain Ferry. I think the price was fair as well, do you think? Yeah, yeah I, I think mean, it wasn't for a sit down, cheap, for an indoor sit down restaurant, yeah, yeah. it was good. It was quite busy in there as well. Mm. So, anyway, if we haven't seen mm. our chip videos, there's more coming up. And until next time, it's a bye for me. It's a bye for me. Bye. If you're into your shells, there are quite a lot of shells on this beach, aren't there, Mel? These. They eat them in Spain. Razor clams. 